Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here, and Parallels has just released desktop version 17 for the Mac. It is now optimized for the M1 Mac for Windows 11 and Mac OS Monterey as a guest VM. You might remember when I covered this just a little over a month ago that you could finally run Mac OS Monterey on an M1 Mac as a virtual machine. Now Parallels has equipped version 17 with the ability to install a Mac OS guest VM. I'm gonna walk you through the entire setup to show you how it's done. Let's get started. Let's quickly talk about why you would want to install macOS Monterey on top of macOS Monterey on your M1 Mac. So when Apple comes out with a beta version of the operating system, you can install it into a VM on your M1 Mac to be able to test it out to make sure it runs okay. Your applications work, all the settings that you set up are working properly, and you can do that now with Parallels Desktop 17. So that's a perfect reason why you would want to run a macOS virtual machine on an M1 Mac. While we're on the topic of of Parallels on an M1 Mac. If you're interested in installing Windows 10 or Windows 11 through Parallels on an M1 or Windows Gaming or even sideloading iOS apps on an M1, check out my buddy Andrew Ty's channel. He put together a wonderful set of videos that gives you all these walkthroughs on how to get that done. Check them out. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need is the Parallels application. I'm gonna put a link in the description for you to be able to download the 15-day trial. And if you like it after that trial and wanna purchase it, I've also included an affiliate link that you can click if you wanna help support my channel. So let's get started by clicking Try Now, and I'll bring you to the next page for downloading Parallels version 17. So let's click Download Now. And it's going to click OK and it goes right into the downloads folder. Click on that and then click on the DMG. Once you get to this screen, double click on the application here and click open. And this is saying that it would like to access the files in your download folder. That's OK. And it's going to download the entire package of additional installation files. OK, it's opening now. OK, it's an installing Parallels desktop. Click accept. And to install, we need to type in our administrator password. And it'll start the application. Okay, the first thing we need to do is give Parallels Desktop application the ability to be able to access downloads, desktop, and documents. There's new controls on macOS called Transparency, Consent, and Control to be able to block applications from getting access to your personal files. But in this case, we know the application and we're gonna grant it access. So we'll click Next. And first desktop, we'll click OK. Documents, OK. And downloads, OK. And finish. OK, here we go. Install on Mac with Apple M1 chip. Your Mac computer is powered by an Apple M1 chip and is built on ARM architecture. To complete the Parallels desktop setup, you need an installation image with an ARM-based operating system. And we've got that. So let's click Continue. Here's the interesting part. The Base support for this version of Parallels 17 doesn't support drag and drop of the installation application just yet or the IPSW and that's actually how it's going to be created just like we did when if you watch my previous video using KST Mac VM to be able to drag and drop the full install of the IPSW file so what we need to do is we need to download the entire IPSW first then it will unpack and build the VM out so we need to click this button over here to go to the next to, to scroll and then we'll see download Mac OS. Let's click on that and click continue. So here's what it's telling you. It's saying Mac OS 12. This Mac OS 12 Monterey virtual machine is designed for Mac computers with an M1 chip. It can be used for software development, testing, and using Mac OS server on a personal non-commercial use. Note, the productivity and integration features are not available on the system yet. And I'm gonna click on download so the download will start. So what this is gonna do is download the entire current version of Mac OS Monterey I PSW. So where it's going to put it, we'll click on Finder here to open up a new Finder window. And then once you're in Finder, click on Search and type in Parallels. And then you'll see the Parallels folder right here, and it's in your User folder. So just double click on that. And this is where the IPSW and the Mac OS VM, once it's built, will be stored. So let's go into this folder, and we'll see that this is the IPSW file that's being downloaded to the Mac right now and you can see that it's set as a download part and once it's finished it'll be the full IPSW file and then it'll unpack and install and then it will delete this file when it's complete. So we'll go back to the downloads window. As you can see we've got about a, a gig and a half downloaded. I'll come back in a minute or two when this is done downloading. 
Okay, we're back. It's almost done downloading the full macOS Monterey IPSW file, and then it's gonna unpack it and then install it. And I, look at this, I opened up Apple Configurator 2 so you guys could see that all it's doing is an ISPW file restore, and this is the Mac VM, the virtual Mac, and you see it, now it's gone. But now you can see that it's unarchiving and installing to that VM file right now, which is actually inside your user folder, test, and parallels about and there's that vm that we're talking about and you can see that it's it's now booted as a virtual mac here in apple configurator 2 and then it's it's finishing up its processes here if you want to watch even more you can open up activity monitor and monitor the disk usage to see the data transfer speed here and there it is so we're transferring about 252 megabytes a second until the actual operating system is built and done in the vm here so i'm going to go back to the screen and we'll watch it go here okay it's finished now the next thing we need to do is sign on to your parallels account if you already have an account and a subscription or if you're a new user and you wanted to continue the trial you can create i'm a new user and then click create account Okay, we signed in and immediately the Mac OS Monterey VM has started in the background here. We'll give it a second and we'll be at the setup assistant screen and look at that. All we need to do is click on next and we'll be at the setup assistant. So the good thing about this, you can maximize the window to take over the entire screen. If you wanted to just bring your mouse cursor up here to be able to go out if you wanted to. And you can just hear that it does have sound built in. If you see this Parallels desktop notification, you can click on X or click allow if you want to. So let's walk through this setup here and we'll be back once we're at the desktop. Okay, we're on the desktop and our Mac OS Monterey virtual machine. Now again, remember there's only basic controls here. You can't drag and drop just yet in this particular version. Hopefully in the future you will be able to just take a file and drag it onto there. You can see there's no Wi-Fi here, but there is full bridge networking if you go into the network pane and you can see we've got full internet so we can go to use safari and be able to go anywhere we want on the web here and there's the apple.com homepage. so that's that if you want to be able to transfer files to the system all you need to do is turn on file sharing on the host mac so we can go into system preferences on the host m1 mac go into sharing and then you can turn on file sharing by clicking on this button here and usually the base settings are just fine you can see that the user on this system has read write and access so now the file sharing is on on the host go back into the macintosh hard drive or click on finder here and then on the side you'll see network click on network and you'll see hey here's that m1 macbook pro click on that double click on there you can click connect as click connect and type in the username of the account on the host mac and the password and there we go you can get access to macintosh hard drive users test and desktop and there's all these files you can see over here and all you need to do is take it and drag it to the desktop and now you have it on the desktop. Now the size of the VM is about 34 gigabytes. You can see this in the VM itself. So if we go into the VM itself and then click on Macintosh hard drive and then click on Command I, we can see that it is a capacity of about 30 gigs and 10 gigabytes of free space. And that's usually plenty to be able to do any kind of testing that you need for applications or anything like that. So for memory, it's set at also four gigabytes of RAM. So if you have an eight gigabyte M1 Mac, that's gonna be just fine. You should be able to have four gigabytes for the operating system and and then four gigabytes for your VM. Now this is a 16 gig, so in the future when we're able to adjust the memory, we should be able to bump it up to eight gigabytes, but the speed on the system is working very well. On the host Mac itself, I have several applications running, including a screen sharing, and it's working great. Now let's talk about shutting down and starting up the VM. There's no suspend mode in the VM just yet in the version 17. So if we wanna shut down the VM, all we need to do is go to the Apple and click on shutdown. And that's it, it closes it up. Once the VM's closed, all you need to do is click on continue trial or go to the parallels icon over here, right click on it and you can click on the VM over here or you can go up to the top menu bar, click file to open and then navigate to the VM and click open and the VM will start again, just like this. And that fires up pretty quick. And the last thing I wanna do is show you a quick benchmark to show you the speed of the VM. And we'll be right back as soon as it finishes. 
Okay, the benchmark finished. The virtual Mac has a, a single core score of 1650 and a multi-core score of 5624. Now I wanted to quickly explain why that is so off. The virtual machine is set at four cores. And you can see that because I open up activity monitor, you can see the cores that the activity monitor detects on the system. And you can see over here on the host Mac, it has eight cores for efficiency and for performance. So that's why there's a performance hit but again for general testing it works great and that's mac os monterey with parallels desktop version 12 in a virtual machine on an m1 mac if you have any questions feel free to leave them below and i'll answer them and if you like this video and you thought it was valuable give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this in the future click on that subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video thanks